All right, so uh, incorporating hand position, setting footwork. Now we're going to initiate a ball from the opposing team. We call this right back, right front exchange. So we'll see the right front get a ball. Right back has to break in with the proper footwork. Set the ball outside around the right front player. We'll flip it so the setter has to come in from right front and set the ball, and then we'll, ver we'll do a variation. All right, here we go. Megan's passing. Allie has to break in around, get her feet there, and set. So she's playing right back defense. Gets in quick, high hand, set. Gets in, works to get around the right front passer. Most of the time she'll go behind. So our right front wants to work at passing the ball back to the net so that the setter has a better angle coming in. If the right front passes in front, the setter's going to have a long way to go. So we like our right backs coming in behind the right front. Let's do two more. Allie gets in quick to the net, uses her step close. Good. All right, let's flip it. So now our setter's in right front. We have another player in right back. Our setter has to play D at the 10, get back to the net to set. So let's see the footwork without a ball. So she's going to be at the net, come off, okay, and then shuffle back with her hands up to set. So we'll see that with the ball. Comes off, gets back to the net, turns and blocks if it's an overpass. Okay. Get all the way to the 10, Allie. Here we go. Get all the way to the 10 quick. Good. Get back. Hands up. Set. So we're working at that movement off, but also the movement back. So she has to play defense and take the second ball if the ball's not hit to her. Good, so she's doing shuffle in, then she uses her footwork to get to the ball, get stopped and balanced. So, good. Still thinking about footwork and hand position. Two more. So she makes sure she's square, good hand position all the way out. Good. All right. Last variation of the drill. We're going to be random. Let's start with Allie right back. So the opposing team is going to hit to right front or right back. Um, both the right back and right front have to make the proper move after that. So either the right back's going to break in or the right front's going to get back to the net to set. But they're going to stay in the same position. All right. Let's do five balls here. Not switching. Yeah. Good, let's shuffle back to the net, Megan. Good. Nice. Good. So if Megan's able, if our right front's able to control the ball, they could also be an option offensively. So then the setter can set out or reds. Okay. Good. So now the passer's also working at getting out into a position to hit. Good. Good. Last variation of the drill is Whoever sets stays right front. The other person goes into right back. So if you're right front setting, you stay. If you're right back setting, you become the right front. Right front becomes the right back. Let's see that. Good. Megan passes, setter comes in. Now setter's right front. Good. So we're working at the communication as well as the footwork. 
if our setter's taken out of a uh, setting, we got to be able to know who's going to control the second ball. Nice. Good, Al. Good, turn and block. Good, let's do two more. Good. So right front passes, now they become the right back. Good, rest. 